Hi there, and welcome to another edition of Bustanet. My name is Rashidi, and today we'll be taking a deeper look at training. And the skin I am using today is the Alavanja 15 Madness skin, in case people are asking. And this skin is from FM Scout. I downloaded the latest one from FM Scout, and this one definitely does show roles. I've had a fair bit of questions from people about training lately and um, I know it's um, for some people it's rather confusing. In all likelihood my last explanation wasn't very good um, so this time I'm gonna try and explain it a bit differently and hopefully it makes sense. One first needs to understand two concepts in training. The first thing is time and the other one is intensity. A person's total time is split between general training and match preparation. And this is you adjust from scheduling. If you look at the scheduling slider, when you click on it, you've got a choice from 0% of time on match preparation and up to 50% of time at the training ground can be spent on match preparation. Adjusting the scheduling slider does not affect workload. During pre-season, it's common practice for a lot of people that they reset it to about 40% for match preparation. This allows a team to get some fluidity and familiarity with the tactics. And then we go down to uh, match preparation and we usually say it's teamwork. And that's the um, match preparation focus for the whole team. That way, a team can learn their routines a lot more better. So now that we've covered time, what we want to understand next is the two differences between overall workload and individual workload. because we want our players to develop and we have to understand the effect this can have on players. There are several approaches you can take in training, none of them are wrong. The whole goal has to be to make sure that a player like Paul Rodriguez here, who's my young player, his workload, you want to aim for his individual training workload to always be heavy. That will ensure that his uh, attributes will all increase. If the individual training workload ends up being very heavy, then you will retard his development and also there is a likelihood that he's going to get injured. So when it comes to balancing training, there are three basic approaches you can take. One is the I don't care about training approach. So you'd set balance as the main focus, intensity level has to be average. If you set it to very high, this is what's gonna to happen to our poor boy, Paul Rodriguez. His training workload will become very heavy. This will mean that he's gonna get injured. You can't even do anything about his focus intensity. You know, it's got light, heavy, they're all gonna be, his individual training workload is gonna be very heavy. General training affects the overall workload of the whole team. So basically, you're telling the whole team, hey, I want all of you to go and play, do drills as a team. If you set the whole team's general training to very high, they can't be intensive about their own individual training. The best thing you can do if you don't really want to manage training so much is set it to balance, average, go to individual training workloads and make sure that they're all set to light. That way, two things are going to happen. The first thing that's going to happen is that you're not going to be customizing players. You, you just just developing in a general way. The second thing that may happen is that it's going to affect their PPMs and new positions that you want them to learn because their intensity now is light instead of heavy. While this approach is basic, it's not optimum. You're not going to get the best training for your players. It's it's easy way out, but if you really want to focus on youth development, you really want to get the best for your players. You can set up your training screen to look something like this and then um, you can balance their intensities and make sure that, that these intensities are heavy. Then when you go to the team settings, make sure that the team intensity level for general training is set to low. That way, then when you look at an individual player's workload, that's going to be heavy. This is what you're aiming for. You want their workload to be heavy so that their development is good. Ultimately, getting the best for your players is a trade-off between the intensity for general training and the intensity for individual focus. The goal here is to make sure that your player's workload is heavy and not very heavy or less than heavy. This way, his development is going to be good. So that's the um, basics of training. Now, if you want to micromanage it further, you have several options when it comes just to general training. 
You can take Cleon's approach, which is uh, to set general training's main focus to balance and then just uh, adjust individual focus accordingly. And that's perfectly good. If you take the balance approach, you get balanced uh, spread of um, attributes for that low intensity portion of his training. Now, the other approach is you can um, customize his training to head into a certain direction. I prefer doing that a lot because I am such a micromanager when it comes to training. Um, the thing about me is that over the course of a whole season, I just don't care. I said like five months, okay, for five months, I want my whole team to do tactical. So the whole team does anticipation, composure, concentration, decisions, and teamwork. So they all you know, focus on this. That is that general training portion. Then um, his individual focus, they work on he works on these aspects so overall then he develops in a certain predefined way that i'm seeking out the balanced approach well for balance i don't no one can tell you for sure what attributes these affect because these are just it's a balanced training program so it's gonna be affected by his role that he's playing and maybe the position that he's playing and so I, you know i can't tell you no one can no one can tell you for a fact that balanced training affects X number of attributes. You will not find that information available anywhere. It's one of those mysteries in the game. So I want to remove the mystery component. So when I want to remove the mystery component, I just go set the general training to tactical. So no more mystery. I know this is what's going to be affected. This plus his uh, central defender individual focus will give me that plus all this so i'm happy yeah it's worked for me you know i spend a, i i give a player five months on tactical and another five months on ball control if i were a on lower league side and i wanted to make sure that my players uh, are better than the rest then i will definitely go this route i'll take fitness because i want them to be faster than the rest and then I will give them ball control because I want first touch. So if I were a lower league manager, that's what I would do. There's nothing wrong with doing balance. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I love the balance approach because in F when I play FMC, that's what I do. I choose balance because um, I'm a lazy bugger. You know, it's, I'm not saying that it's a bad approach. It's a great approach. You know, it's a less hassle approach. But I'm a micromanager. I want the best. I want to squeeze. I'm a min maxer man to the extreme. You have not seen me play computer games. Yeah, I will max out every iota of code that is embedded into the game, and I will make sure that I win every single time. That is my nature, and that is how I play. Nobody is gonna say that the balance approach is wrong or the. Uh, focused approach is wrong they both work it's up to you you choose what you want to do if you want to be completely lazy then yeah set balance to average and individual focus to light and you're off you know your players may not develop ideally no you know you don't care i don't care you're happy i'm happy choose what works for you but ultimately the individual training workload has to be heavy if it's not heavy you're not optimizing training so you have three approaches you have the i don't give a shit approach you have the balanced approach and you have the focused approach well that rounds up training for now i hope you've enjoyed the show if you have please let me know if you think there are areas i should be covering drop me a note you know where to find me on twitter and at my website i'll catch you guys again soon bye